This tropical paradise is Okinawa, Japan's only subtropical region. From the lush jungles of the Yambaru to the colorful coral reefs, a great adventure awaits. Ours starts in clear waters, a perfect place for fish, eels, and sea turtles. Who would have thought scuba would have been the best way to go herping here? But we saw snakes everywhere. These Igema sea snakes were in all nooks and crannies because they feed on the eggs of the fishes here. We even had one that swam right up in the open to take a breath of air. But snakes weren't the only reptile out here. We also had sea turtles, like this green sea turtle that kind of kept its distance from us, or this hawksbill turtle that let us get up close and personal and we could really see the model pattern on the shell or the serrated edges that it has. All right, time to dry off. Well, maybe not completely. Welcome to the Umbaru. The Umbaru is a dense evergreen subtropical forest and is rich in biodiversity. A great place for finding frogs, snakes, and other critters. With a vast system of creeks, river trekking can be a great way to discover secluded waterfalls or a hidden species. <laughs> Bad. I just flipped this log and these two nice sized newts here. Oh, I guess this one, this one's a little small. This one's pretty big, but look at how those like bony structure is. These are, I think the, the common name is like crocodile newt or uh, or warty newt. I can't remember exactly, but you'll see it, uh, you'll see it posted, but really neat to finally get some cool creatures here. Yeah, let's pick them up. Let's let's take a let's take a closer look. Look at that. They're all dark underneath. Can I pick up the big guy? Oh, so here. There we go. Look at that. Nice. All right. So I think in Japanese these are called imbomori, meaning uh, warty newt, and the English common name is Japanese warty newt. And you can see that they definitely look. Look like that with all those warts there. Now I have never seen nudes that are so cooperative. Like they're just staying still here. Usually our nudes back in the states they'll be running around. They only stick around for a second for a photo. So it's nice to see both of these just being really still. They're endemic to just uh, a few islands out in this region. So we're, like I mentioned before, we're on Okinawa, and this is the main island that they're found. But some of the further islands north, you can you can see them too. The one thing I also want to show you is you can see that their their feet are nice and orange, and uh, also just the edge of the tail uh, has that orange color to it too. But otherwise, they're all black, and they really just have these uh, these bony protrusions on them. But anyway. I'm really excited. This was a really unexpected and cool find. So time to put these guys back as we go look for more stuff. Okay, little guys. Thank you. Oh, there they go, finally moving. <gasps> yes! One more newt. Anybody else in here? No, <laughs> really nice. Another Japanese warty newt. And uh, the first log, it was that one right there where you can see my book is. So great to see that this is a good spot for them. All right, well, here you go. I didn't want to crush you, but you can go back, back into hiding. Bye. All right, check out these fish here. There's a big one right in the center, but there's some smaller ones hopping around too. These are mud skippers. And these are fish that come up onto land and hop around like you see there. When they run away, they definitely skip across the water. 
ah, you can see, you can see some of them running away. It's really neat. Ho, ho, ho! Check it out. These are two Brahmanly blind snakes. Let's pick them up. Well, do you smell? Um, there's a cricket. They kind of feel weird. And here, there's another one. It's another. Yeah. All right, check out these squirmy snakes. There was actually a third. I dropped it. It went back under there. But really exciting. This is a great way to start the trip. Now, these snakes are actually not native to here. These uh, Brahmami blind snakes. And they are, in fact, found in most of the world because they have a special adaptation where they don't need to have... Um, they don't need to mate in order to reproduce. They, they have uh, something called partheno... They're parthenogenic. Um, and so they have virgin births. And, uh, and it means that you just need one and their population can spread a lot. But excellent way to start our night here in Okinawa. But we will put these guys back and hopefully find a native snake uh, pretty soon. What? Look at, come here on this cone. That's really cool. All right, my buddy Kyle just spotted another gecko. Let's see if we can pick him up. And there we are. Look at that. Oh, he's peeing on me. <laughs> That's okay. You can see all that speckling on the back. Those lovely little feet. Really cool. All right, buddy, bye. See you later. Okay, look at that. <laughs> One more blind snake. These seem to be doing well in this area, which I don't know how invasive these eyes are. They're, like I said earlier, they're not native, but I really don't have any clue if they're detrimental to the... Uh, local uh, uh, flora or fauna so but it is kind of neat to see another snake and and I, I didn't mention this before but this is actually a lifer for me uh, the first ones that we saw you know I've heard about them many times but it's nice to actually see one for once so very cool that there's uh, a good number around here bye looks like oh and a millipede crawling so I believe these are the Kajiki tree frogs, one of the um, endemic frogs to this region. Oh, lots of millipedes. They just, uh, yeah, they're all going on line there. Um, there's another one. So neat to see this little this little local frog. I believe if you can hear in the distance, they go. They have this like cracking sound, and I think that's what these frogs, the call that these frogs are making. He's a slippery, slippery little bugger. There we go. Excellent. Now he's staying still. That yellow color is really beautiful. Be sure to check out part two where we find some of Okinawa's most iconic species on a night hike.